Ayan, so we are live again. Na, na feel ko lang talaga that somewhere inter- someone out there is interceding with regards to mental health. Lord, baliw ba kami? May mali ba sa amin? Tama ba yung sinasabi ni ate din? Tama ba yung sinasabi ng doktor about us na ganito yung diagnosis? And I do agree that a lot of us in this generation are asking that. And I am not invalidating whatever diagnosis the doctor has on you. Because this is not just um, spiritual, it's also medical, de ba? We're also living in the body. But the spiritual is also real. It's also real. Personally, I don't think that whatever is happening to you, ganon, is, hindi ko, I don't think that the, uh, the a medical textbook is always correct. Kasi that is just the medical perspective. In the spiritual perspective, there is, ano, yung mga audios, audio, ano, my, my vision, hearing from the Lord, the devil speaking to them. You can see that, I've done my research on this, in yung si, uh, Ted Bond, Bond, di ba yun? Yung serial killer sa, ano, America, siya na mismo yung nagsabi, the devil is talking to me, sabi niya. May mga ganun pa eh, sa, ano, yung, ano ba yung Satanist worshiper, ganyan, the devil is talking to me. Na-research ko yun eh, kasi pinapanood ko sa YouTube. And ako din, na-experience ko din, na may mga times din talaga, to, in recognizing God's voice, you can also recognize the voice of the enemy. To be, to be fair, to be fair, hmm? I am not saying that whatever diagnosis to you, na said to you was wrong. I'm just saying that we should also acknowledge the spiritual side. Because it's not always about the body, about the health. Um, I feel like some of you here who's watching, I want to tell you that you are not crazy. That you are hearing those things. That you are seeing those things. You just can't explain them. What are these? Are this Is this a sickness? I don't think so. I don't think that, I don't think na medical lang. Kasi it's also spiritual. Maybe the Lord is showing something to you. Daniel, are these delusions? My goodness, are those delusions? We do not medicate the demon inside of you. For me lang, my opinion, whoever is this I'm talking to, sleep, apnea, ano pa ba, um, Ano ba to? Ba't di ako makatulog? Insomnia? Ano ba to? Hindi ko ma-explain. So, as someone, as an ate who have been there, who have explored also the medical side of these things, kasi parang may times na, ano ba yun? Sige, explain ko na lang. Nung ano, nung kali, <laughs> buhay ko na talaga yung mundo. Buhay ko na talaga! <laughs> Nung college, um, I exercised my faith on something. I thought that something was going to happen already kasi I placed my faith on that. That was misconception pala kasi I assumed that it was God who was speaking because all the signs were there. Pero wala naman siyang word over the situation. He just answered my prayer na, ano, eto, sige, kunin mo, ganyan, parang ganon. Pero hindi niya sinabi na, eto na yon, parang ganon. Walang, walang word. Pero I let my faith, I exercise my faith. So, nung time na yon, sabi ko, parang, na, ang labo kasi, paano ba yan? Wait lang, wait. Um... Ano ko ba ito sasabihin, Lord? <sighs> Wait lang. Ayun. So, faith. Parang, kasi mayroon akong vlog dun, di ba? If you, if you read my vlogs. Yung on love and delusion. Parang ganun. Delusion ko lang ba to? Gusto ko lang ba talagang mangyari to? Kaya ito yung pinaniniwalaan ko. That can be faith. Pero, faith that is anchored on a wrong thing. Kasi in this, in the church, in the Bible, 
faith is not just, you just don't exercise faith. You exercise faith on the Word of God. Kasi the Word of God is real. When God has said something to you, you exercise your faith. You just don't say na, imamanifest ko to, kaya mangyayari to. You don't say that. That is dangerous. That can be delusions. Yun, yung parang ganun. Yun, personally, I've gone through it kasi kaya I can speak on this kasi I've gone through it. Tapos, ano ba? May sakit ba talaga kami? Delusion. Kasi si Daniel, naririnig niya din si Lord. Parang may naririnig din siya. Ganyan. Oliva. Ayan, joke lang. Nag-mention. <laughs> joke. Doctor. Doctors. Doctors. Um, ano ba? Ano bang nangyayari dito? Ganyan. Kasi siya din eh. Parang ganun din yung nangyari sa kanya eh. Na galing din siya sa'yo. Ang gusto kong sabihin sa inyo is that my heart, I believe that the Lord impressed, has impressed to me that it's not just the medical side, it is also the spiritual side. It is also the spiritual side. It's not just medicines. Yun nga eh. So parang yun yung niri-research namin ngayon. Niri-research namin ngayon. Kung ano yung nangyari doon, ano ba yung connection ng medical and spiritual. And I'm just asking God what the right time is to communicate with these doctors, communicate this to, with this medical professional in order to have research on this, to collaborate, to heal the sick. The point of what we're doing is not to make money. It's not to support our families. Kasi, pag-aalis na sila dyan, wala na kaming pera, ganun ba yun? The point is to help people. This is not about donations or this is not about money or reputation or credibility or your medical degree. This is not about you anymore. This is about what the Lord is trying to do on this generation. And I've experienced everything already that the Lord allowed me to go through. It was hard kasi I had to navigate it with the Lord and there were times when I had to renounce my faith just because the doctor told me that I'm crazy. I've been through that. And I know where you are right now. <sighs> are these delusions? What are these? Who are, do we talk to? Are these doctor ba dapat? Or do we need someone who knows what she's talking about? Oh my goodness. I want you to know that I am for your mental health and we are correcting everything for the Lord, for God. Kasi in, this is not an isolated case. You are not an isolated case. And you, I believe that you have heard voices. You have, hindi mo sure kung si Lord ba talaga yun. Delusions ba talaga yan? Delu you tell me, is it a, really a delusion? Delusion ba talaga yung sinasabi namin dito? Can you explain that to me? What is that? Okay. So, we have also intercessions. Um, in the body of Christ, malala ang intercessions minsan. We feel the heart of, the, we feel God's heart about people sometimes we discern we have spiritual gifts discerning of the spirits ano pa ba? discerning of the spirits is a spiritual gift spiritual um discerning of the spirits ano pa ba? wisdom ano pa it's all written in the word of the lord and it is true it is coming to pass what is that? Can you explain that to me? Are those delusions? We pray to the Lord to bring clarity over the situation. But we need to work together because this is not just flesh. This is also spiritual. This is not just medicines. Those are just medicines. Science lang yan, hindi yan Diyos. Hindi yan Diyos. Science and faith should cooperate. It's not science or faith. That's wrong. I don't think that's right. 
whoever is watching this, I know that you have a heart for the Lord and I know that you you want to heal people. Um I want you to know na Alam mo, God is also for you. God is also for you. And he wants to bring that healing ministry up to a brand new level. Brand new level. So I want you to know that God is for you and that this is intercession din. Minsan malala din yung intercession namin kasi talagang God would allow us to see to see clearly kung ano ba talaga yung problema. Is it health? Is it mental health? Or is it something spiritual na hindi niya ma-explain? Ang heavy ng feeling ko. Bakit heavy yung feeling ko? Na-explain nyo ba yun? Kasi ako minsan pag, ano, nakakasense kasi ako ng demonic demonic attacks. Nasa sense ko, natitest ko yung spirit kung if it's Holy Spirit or not Holy Spirit eh. That's why I read the Bible. Kasi ako mismo, God speaks through the Bible. It's not delusions. It helps me sleep at night. When, pag nagbabible read ako. Kasi napapakalma ko ni Lord eh. Napapakalma ko ng word ni God, ng Holy Spirit. Napapakalma ako ni Lord. As in, kalma ganun. Kasi talagang minsan, even my emotions. Ang gimalala talaga. Kasi when, when these revelations, revelations, not just revelation in terms of like Holy Spirit eh, pero sometimes demonic revelation sa dream you nafe-fear ka it affects your emotions ba? Diba? they're overwhelming lalo na when you see something wrong even in the church there's something wrong hindi lang yan sa senate or hindi lang yan sa barangay namin ganyan everywhere it's an attack it's something that is happening on earth So, kami na gifted in this way, prophetic, prophets, na didiscern namin yung mga ganyan. And ako personally, yung mga attacks, yung mga ganyan, mga tao, ganyan, naiinis ka, but ganyan. It overwhelms my emotions. Minsan hindi naparprotect yung emotions ko kasi alam mo eh, na alam mo yung heart ni Lord for that person and alam mo bakit mali yung nangyari sa kanya? Kasi ganito yung nangyari. ba? Diba? We know those things. We empathize with them. And it's hard. It's hard as being in a position like this. Na you lead people to the Lord. But you have to help fix what is broken here. You have to counsel them. You have to guide them. That's hard. That takes courage. That takes discipline, self-control. Sometimes... Nabibisit na lang talaga ako, alam mo yun, sa mga nangyayari talaga. Kasi hindi nga tama yung, yun, hindi tama siya. Ayun, so, i-discern siya. So, it's not just, yun nga, hindi siya, it's not just medical, it's also spiritual. So, I'm praying for open doors for the ministry of this na there should not be division against science and faith because they work together hindi yung sila, ganyan, faith healer, ano, hindi lang spiritual, Ay, hindi, hindi lang medical, hindi lang din spiritual. We have to work together for this, to discern what is going on. I personally, yun nga, I have mental, minsan may mental health, ano din ako, may mental health concern din ako. Ganyan, share ko na. Pero, alam mo yun, I try to take it I try to discern what God's will over that concern is. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna say it anymore because people might use it against me. Right? People might use it against me. That's not right. So, ako, sometimes my mental health concern din ako, ganyan, na anxiety, kung ano man. So, I try to discern it. Lord, what is your way? Do I take the meds today? What meds should I take? Ganyan. Kasi ako din, kahit na may ginito akong concern, meron din akong, I am also in this office. I am also, it is fivefold. And malinaw na yon sa akin. At least sa akin, malinaw. Kasi people madalas, hindi sila convinced na, prophetic, profit ba yan? Baka baliw lang yan. 
Kala mo hindi ko alam. Baka baliw lang yan. Naglalakat sa ano. So, ako naman. Personally, I really don't care about you. <laughs> about what you think. Because you're not always correct. People have so many opinions in this world. But none of them really matter, right? What the Lord is saying to you, that's what matters. What He has said over your life. That your life is valuable and He sees you. That is truth. Men, may condition ka man, o wala. My goodness, itong generation na to. Bakit kayo ganito dito? You condemn those mental health, ano, yung mga taong may condition na ganyan. Itao lang din naman sila. Ano? Sino ba tong mga to? Hindi yan godly. May batas na nga for that, pero hindi mo pa rin kamukha si Lord. Bakit? <laughs> ba? Diba? Nabuli sa church kasi may, ano? Do you look like Christ? An sayang siya. Ano yung sayang don? Di ko nag-gets. Hindi mo kamukha si Lord. <laughs> Please, please respond how Jesus responds. Because this is the epidemic today, mental health. We are to show compassion to these people. We don't try to say na, ah, sayang siya. May sakit siya sa ulo. Bastos ka. <laughs> Sorry, pero like, that is not godly. That is not Christ-like at all. What are we doing here? That's what? Na-judge mo yung tao. Na-judge mo yung tao kasi may kapansanan siya. Pakinggan natin ulit. Yung tao may sakit. Sisipain mo ba yung tao kasi may sakit siya? Mali tayo dyan. Mali tayo dyan. Hindi ganyan ang kristyano. Am I correct? So, this is Christian living, ha? This is not even revelations. This is character we're talking about. You're gonna tell to that person, Ah, baliw ka! Ganon. Do you hear? Do you, can, you, can, you, can you listen? Can you hear yourself? I hope you don't feel judged by me, ha? Pero this is me speaking out on this injustices, not just in society, but in church. We don't also say to people, ah, pray ka lang, pray ka lang. Faith lang yan. We don't say to people like that. We ask the Lord for direction. Wala ka kasing faith eh, kaya kabaliw. Ganon. Naiintindan niyo so wrong. That is so wrong. What is that? Ngayon, parang, Lord, talaga. Ano ba itong mga taong to? Okay. What happened there? What happened there? Lord, tulungan mo na lang po kami dito sa baba. Hindi na po namin to kaya. We're asking God, Lord, are these delusions or is this you? And I hope this is a sign for you. Kung ma-answer kung ano man yung kailangan ma-answer sa'yo. That, the prophetic exists. It's not just crazy. Ganon. Now, you can also hear from the devil. You can hear from the Lord. You can also hear from yourself. You can also hear from others. That is intercession. That's what we call intercession. Open. Bukas ka. Bukas yung spiritual lens mo. Kaya nagigets mo yan. You have to discern if it is what? If it is demonic. If it is the Holy Spirit. If it is you. If it is him. <laughs> Sino ba yan yung ganon? So, it's not just medical. It is also spiritual. And this is not about money anymore. Okay? We praise God. 
because he has shown this all of this to us you are not just a patient you are not just a client hindi dapat natin hinuhututan ang mga kliyente natin alam mo yon hindi natin dapat hinuhututan I don't know who I'm speaking to here ah. I'm general lang kasi nakikita namin din nasa news nasa news nasa news na may mga cases against doctors because what is that? may mga cases against doctors po corruption about making money na lang I hear it also around I am not talking to any ha huh? not thinking about any specific doctors some doctors have good intentions but we have to check our hearts anymore ay ano already hanggang pera pera na lang ba to or ano ba yung heart natin is to serve the public or make them a money making machine this is not I'm not naming names ha. Yung, na, yung mga na-name ko kanina, baka dun lang yung, I mean, isolated case yung na-mention ko lang kasi kilala ko sila. Not saying that they're like that. I'm just reference lang. So, ano? Ano? Ano na? Who do we listen to when these people don't even know what they're talking about and they don't look like the Lord and they make money out of us. Who do we listen to? When they make fame, na ba? fame, reputation, a good name, science, idols, and not the Lord. Who do we listen to? This generation needs to speak up. We need leaders who would tell us, Ate, that's, that's what happened to me also. Can you explain that? We need leaders like that. And we have you, whoever is listening to here. I can listen to you. We, the body of Christ, who is the same. My gifting na to. We are listening to you. Okay? We will help you discern. Again, I am not saying that the medical field is not right. I'm just saying that we bo we need both. Okay? This is not or. This is end end we don't need we don't need this what is this this is bullcrap what is what are they feeding us what is the truth ano misdiagnosis minsan sa hospital ang doctors can you explain that happy birthday Daniel Hi, nako. Thank you for partnering in this, whatever this is. I know you're watching from wherever you are, and I know na it's not just an isolated case. <laughs> Thank you, Body of Christ, for tuning in and for listening, finally listening to what we have to say. Because it's real, and it's happening, and there's sin in the church. And there's demonic truthfulness in this world. And there are voices. There are people with gifting such as me. In this office. In this, in this body of Christ. And we need to work together. Work together. Yun yun. Hindi yung, ay sila yan dyan. World view nila yan. Ah, dito ganyan. Ito, totoo nga ito. Science and faith go together. It's not either. It's not. It's not either or. It's. Doc, can you explain that to me? They're asking you already. Doc, can you explain that to me? Am I really sick? Am I really sick? Why do I know these things? I'm gonna stop talking right there. 
God bless you, pray also for my well-being because nai-stress ako sa mga tao sa mundo. Nakaka-stress. Tulungan niyo po kami sa kung ano man kailangan namin gawin for your will, for your will, Jesus. What you want to do, Jesus, for this generation because you see these people who are going through mental health, are they asking? They're asking questions. And we need to supply them with answers. These are not... This is not kids' church anymore. We grew up. We grew up. We learned. We know better now. Thank you for this ministry. Guide these people in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>